Previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. Fight. Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. What the fuck? Shit. Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In last episode, we went and bought like a pre built house. Well, not pre built, but like the materials for the house. And on our way back and taking it back to Beaches Hope, we got ambushed by so, so many assholes. Like, a fuck ton. They also killed one of the guys who was helping protect us, which is really sad because he was going on about his family and putting his kids to bed and like helping his wife and he died. He had like a shiv in the eye or something. So that was really fucked up. So we're gonna get some sweet, sweet revenge on them at some point, I hope. In this episode, we're going to carry on with the main mission, but before we do that, quick shout out to Patreon of the day, Ryan, thank you so much Ryan for becoming a Patreon, I'm so, so, so grateful that you guys want to support me that way, there are so many new Patrons, I can't believe it, so thank you so much Ryan for becoming a Patreon, you're a Patron of the day, I hope you enjoy it, and if you have become a Patron recently, I will be shouting you out, don't worry, but there's quite a few names I need to get through, so I apologise if it takes a week or two, and without further ado guys, let's get into the gameplay, mwah! Okay, so we are just in the wilderness, I guess. Let me see if there's any new journal entries before we get going. There's got to be something, I think. Um, page, here we go. This countryside is full of some of the worst scum and maniacs I've ever come across. Guess we fit right in. I went to buy lumber to build a new house, got jumped by some local gang everyone is terrified by. A hand Charles had hired got himself killed. One of these bastards will bring trouble and how much? Well, that was chapter. We need to go back a chapter. Oh god. Um, we've done that one. Done that one. That was Sadie. That was Charles's boxing. Okay, here we go. Saw Mr. Mason again. This time he was taking pictures of wolves. Still doing his hardest to get himself eaten. Okay, that was all there is to it in the that book, unfortunately. So if we look on the map now. Zoomy, zoom, zoom. We have Albert Mason again, the photographer, all the way over here. So he might do that at some point. And we have Uncle's Missions. So let's head on over. Where, where even are we? Like, what is this place? Should we go have a look? I can hear someone coughing. Oh, is that a donkey? Hey, donkey. How are you doing? A standard donkey. We've got some chickens. I can hear someone coughing in here. Ooh. Yeah, we'll save it. About damn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. What? Uh, sorry. What are you talking about? Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. What's going in the cellar? Which one are you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. Ooh, a weapon case. Hey! What's taking so long down there? Nothing. What is it? Semi-auto shotgun. But I like my Litchfield repeater. Stop poking around. Get back up here. Okay, she's getting well angry. I'm coming. She wanna shoot me. What is wrong with you, lady? Wait a second now. Remember you? I thought they said be one of them Russell boys. They normally say as if they send in somebody new. You always this hospitable with your guests, lady? Oh, hands Let over me hips. give you some advice. Turn around 
walk out of here. Get far, far away. I'm just gonna take what I need, lady, and then be on my way. I said, get the hell out of my house. I probably now, should. You son of a bitch! But I'm interested to see where this goes. Take that! For the bitch! What is that? A tin? Are you just gonna stand over your hands on your hips? That's it! I'm gonna find my sons. Okay. They'll skin you alive when I tell them what you've done. Okay. <laughs> Where's she going? Where's she going? This is funny. She wanna get their donkey. Oh god, they're gonna come after me, aren't they? Oh well. Okay. That is pretty funny, not gonna lie. But while we're here. And while she seemed like a fucking dickhead, like I was gonna be nice and just leave her. But she started getting all mouthy with me and I was like, well, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna take all your stuff. And you're gone. I'm assuming at some point her sons are gonna find me and try and kill me. But we all know what happens to people that come after John Marston. They die. <laughs> Ooh, coin purse. God, I'm an awful person. I'm taking a 99 cents. It's just four sons. Eh. They don't look that bad. She must be up to something shady here as well. If they're putting stuff in her friggin' cellar. You know what I'm saying? So, and John, John has bills to pay. Me trying to justify things. <laughs> but there's a reason the game plopped me outside of this building, you know. I did not save the game here. There's a reason they did it. And now I should probably get out of it. Now I've looted my way through the house. They'll turn up at some point, but we'll deal with that when it comes to it. Riding away on a donkey shit ain't gonna get very far, very fast. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go head over to Uncle and see what he wants. The amount of times in my head I'm like, oh, let's go head over to Dutch. But it's it's not it's Dutch. It's Uncle. And it's not Arthur. It's John. I'm still not over it, guys, honestly. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm taking my time this this epilogue part. Because I am just enjoying doing all these little side missions and helping people out, robbing old ladies. It, ma it makes me happy. <laughs> God, that sounds fucked up. Robbing old ladies makes me happy. You know what I mean, though. Like, expanding the storyline and seeing what else you can do. Are you okay? You alright, we'll fella? put a rock in the middle of the road. It's hey, on the side of the road. You there? Are you drunk? Would you mind watching my stuff while I head to find another wagon? Sure. Uh, sure. You were kind, man. I'll be back. Fit as a fiddle. Where the fuck? The boss ain't gonna be happy Are you about gonna this. get a wagon from? Could swear there's normally ain't rocks on this road. Meanwhile, I'm here. Probably anyway. I lost the morals that I just gained. God damn it. That's so annoying. I don't know how long we have to wait here. There's a lockbox here though. I feel like if you're going to loot something and it takes away morals, it should be in like red. Like in Skyrim. If you know what I mean? Because I didn't know it was going to make me lose morals. Like yeah, it's probably a bad thing to steal from a drunk man. He's had like this little wagon crash. But socks is destroying it all anyway. How long is this guy gonna be finding his wagon? Ah, oh, poor horsey got wrecked. Actually, I need to eat something. Well, we can eat all the things we stole, can't we? <laughs> we got some cooked stringy meat, lovely stuff. Yum yum yum. Trying to get John's weight back up. Um, what else we got? Celery? We ran out of meat again. 
Okay, well for now, eat some bread chunk. And, yeah. I want to loot that lockbox, but I'll lose moles again for it. Should I, should I actually wait here for any longer? It's going to take him so long to find a wagon. Will I lose moles if I ride away? Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We said yes, we stole. So, there was really no mor morality gain there, which is a bit annoying. But whatever. He's gone to go find a wagon. I'm sure it's fine. It looks all broke anyway, apart from the lockbox. Which he should have taken with him, but he was drunk, so I doubt he knew what was going on. Ooh, find another house. I love exploring these little houses now. I've sort of like bypassed them before. But now I'm always intrigued to see who's in here. Note from Jim. Back in a few days, gone to pick up Mildred from her mother's house, the new Mrs. Pater and best Jim. You can't go into it though. Oh. I like the exploring. Alright, come on socks. Or Rachel, whatever your name is. Hey, partner! Hey, partner! Okay. Hey! That was rude. Did he just throw something at me? I'm pretty sure he just threw a bottle at me because I heard it shatter. But anyway, guys, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. We are heading over to Uncle. I also need to cook some more meat as well. But I will see you guys when I get there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck! Jesus Christ, that literally came out of nowhere. But you guys did warn me that a cougar spawned every like two to three days. Um, we're going to skin this bad boy. Again, we need the meats. Don't know if we need the pelt because I shot it in the head a few times. So it's probably not going to be the best of... Oh my God, that is horrendous! Ew! Where did his face go? Ew, where did his face go? Ew, ew, ew. Jesus. Yeah, poor cougar pelt. But we got some big game meat. We got a cougar fang. We'll have to go to the um, the merchant at some point and sell all the stuff that we have because our satchel is very full at the moment. Anyways, we are back at Beaches Hope. That cougar scared the poop out of me. It was like, wow, 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 wow. That wasn't a very good impression. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go, Uncle. Are we going to make the place a bit nicer? I hope so. It needs to be done. Grab a girl and Jack. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I a think. A new Jerusalem. You know how hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and... You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. <laughs> oh, you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. And he's got lumbago. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless <laughs> you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. I'm glad we have Charles back in it and Sadie. They're like the two best characters. Apart from Lenny. Oh, this is the welcome scene. I'm enjoying this already.
saw in a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. This part's making me so happy. I don't know why. It's just, just like determination to get Abigail and Jack back. It's so sweet. Everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, to this happy home. This makes me so happy. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. Why am I getting so emotional over this? I hope soon to show it to you. <laughs> I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. So sweet. A few days later. Oh my god, is she gonna come back that soon? <gasps> oh my god, is she gonna come back? Look at that house there, it's beautiful. Oh, the outfit as well. The outfit.
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Uncle, where are you? A new Jerusalem mission complete. Honestly, it looks amazing. Oh, Uncle's over here. Um, there's also, you guys said, I can go see other gang members. I need to visit Arthur's grave as well. So, let me just quickly do a cheeky Google and see what I can find some other gang members. Okay, guys. So, the plan is we're going to do this mission with Uncle. And then maybe we'll have a, a look around some familiar faces. Um, but we'll see who we go and find. Um, not going to say anything yet. But I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go see Uncle then. What is he doing up here? I'm surprised he can even climb this far with all the lumbago, to be honest. Just one time I hope to find you. <laughs> Just once. Do you A believe quick favour for an old friend. John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave this is a fatal condition i got and i'll give you another fatal condition we don't get on with things around here and we'll all starve get on with what farming ranching planting something the only thing that this land's good for is grazing grazing yeah so so cows sheep goats now, goats is easy but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've <laughs> goats seen enough cute. cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. All right, we're heading back into Blackwater. Come on, Uncle. In the Blackwater. Let's Ew, go. the horse is pooping. I hope Sadie comes and visits the ranch at some point. It'd be nice now, to have her stay. This fella probably saw you. Thought here some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. That's rude. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. <laughs> That's what he's worried about. I so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. We get in there, okay? That's gonna be me in a few months when I move into an unfurnished flat. I'm gonna have no furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from my beanbag. At least I can sleep on that. Oh, my airbed. I have an airbed I can sleep on. I'm excited. <laughs> beep, beep. Yeah, here we go. Right, come on then, Uncle, you little turd. This is him. Let's go speak to the lumber salesman. Get on the horse, won't you? Why? We're already and here. how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, there he is. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, <laughs> what you think? Uh, have a look. 
Maybe that one. Yeah. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. I thought we were going to negotiate prices. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. John! Sadie! Hey. Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> when am I not oh, up very for a legal, fight? But it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> These are my favorite <laughs> missions. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. That's a girl. Now, come I on, Sadie. I have authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Painted Sky? Do we know the place? All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. I love Sadie's voice, but like, the voice actor is amazing. Sadie? Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about him. Got a hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. I bet you that's not going to be the last we see of them. I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to catch up. 
the clip was shortcut there. I can't stop staring at a horse. Her horse is so pretty. I want a horse like that. It's like this weird purpley colour. It's so cool. Alright, come on then, Sadie. Let's get to painted, painted sky, was it? Painted something or other. By the way, we'll get there. I'm so, it makes me so happy when Sadie comes back into it. I want her to stay around more. I want her to have her own game, at least her own DLC, just to see what she gets up to during the time. Like, not even just bounty hunting. I feel like she has so much more story to tell, personally. And I think a DLC about Sadie would sell so well. Because she is by far the best female, or one of the best female protagonists that's ever been created, in my opinion. Looking back on games like Tomb Raider, Horizon Zero Dawn, Uncharted Lost Legacy. She is such a side part in this game. But she stands out so much. Just imagine if she had her own game or DLC. It would be honestly unfreaking believable. Because she's so badass as well. And the accent and the voice actor, like I said earlier, so good. <laughs> so cool. We need to start a petition, guys. Petition for a Sadie Adler DLC. And again, we can also bring in some old gang members again. Like, it'd be cool to see John, but like, not as you playing him. And like, Tilly and everyone else. I'm not sure what time period it'd be set in. Maybe after this part. But either way, it would be so cool. Here this we go. Painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Which one's the barn? Bar if you get this it. one. Okay, we'll kick it. Yeah! Oh, Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will get hurt! Yeah, oh god, oh god! Uh, it'll all be over soon! Will it? <laughs> for you, maybe, bitch! You got him? Yeah, I got him. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. You think you'd have his gun on him at least? Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Oh man. Let's go for a ride. He's not on my horse. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. I said maybe a mile so I could slap him. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Sadie gives zero fucks. Oh shit, yeah. Hit your horse up here. Her Sean died. Man, that was a big ass fight that was. Hello. Sorry. I like burped at the same time Bring as I spoke there. The front for me, will you? <laughs> I'll get them ready for you. Um, uh, here we go. Right, come on, come on then. The horse is in I'll the way. Hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Not enough. You could not Mr. pay Sheriff? me enough. Kill Sadie. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about <laughs> right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. 
Okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you Ooh, did a good job. <laughs> Someone want to break him out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. I thought we should don't be a dumb bastard. Two, this is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Yeah, the doggy. Fine, Sadie, I got you. Damn it. We got a really bad angle on him. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. Fuck's sake. You wanna get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. <laughs> This is a great mission. I'm loving this. Come on. Let me loot these. Po please, let me loot these bodies. Please, don't do this to me, Sadie. I've had all this loot and taken away from me recently. I'm still an outlaw at oh. heart. I believe Sadie will wait for me. I just want to rob a few of them, you know. Get it out of my system. There's only a few over here anyway. Got some dynamite. There's only a few, it's fine. I would like the game to allow more looting, to be honest. Between cutscenes, just because it's so fun. And probably one of my favourite parts of the game. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I am done after this person. <laughs> Thank you. All right, come on then, Socks. Come on, lady. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. That Someone is true. Must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He 
He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that good people kind of now. tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. To be fair, I would bounty is quite a bit higher than $200, so... Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Alright, we'll follow Sadie. We're gonna take him down. Why do people keep robbing us or robbing people? Sadie's having a tough time whenever John comes on the mission. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. She could have that mission by herself, to be Keep honest. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Oh, is this near where we lived uh, uh second oh. time around, that German family. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Yes, Sadie. And shoot well. Bad ass. It's like when Arthur covered her when she was going to go save. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. I mean, she could have done that a lot more sneaky. That one just shoot his hat off. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Stop moving! Oh my god! This is annoying! Okay. We're gonna come back to that one. Otherwise, she's gonna die. That was tough. But there's Sadie. Let's go, let's go. Man, that one guy kept moving as I was shooting really pissed me off. Now they're dead. There's more, there's more! There's 
really not that much cover down here, Sadie. It's so dark as well. Then I really felt with the darkness, to be fair. Holes in the boat. Get clever, you're gonna get shot. Don't know if that was actually gonna work. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey, let's do it again. Shut your gut down now. <gasps> that looked like it would fucking hurt. Oh, Jesus. Why have I got my revolver out for a start? I wish I had my lich would repeat it, man. They keep coming, all right. Yeah, can we get him? We I think might so. Just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Didn't know you was out. I love this hat. Oh my god, it's huge. I don't like this hat. Let's um <laughs> take this hat. <laughs> Much better. Okay, right. come on, Cortez. Your luck ran out, I'm afraid. It's my Let's put show, you on there. remember? You do the heavy lifting. Yeah, Sadie, oh. I am. Don't you worry. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time. Where we go? What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man! Okay. The Belovos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you! And we will kill you! You! And anyone who is close to you! Okay. I preferred it when you was offering money! Right. Before Back to Rose money, we go. Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. Wait, Sadie. God damn it! And here she is. We're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Jones back. You're gonna say that now? But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me. Where are we going, Sadie? I'll forget about all this. This is the that right is way. You see, Ramon. What we got here is a okay, trust here issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. That's close. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you 
left it to someone in your will. <laughs> you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You okay. should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Please do. Well, I love I a good shootout. Well, I know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Me and Sandy are the same. <laughs> hey, piggies. I hate that noise they make. Oh man, I hope he keeps talking. Because I wanted to smack him one. It's honestly one of my favourite parts of bounty hunts. When you capture them and put them on the back of your horse. And you're like, shut up! Backhand. Bitch slapped. Oh, that's great. So satisfying. Right, there's Rhodes. Come on, Sadie. We're almost there. Let's go get our money. We have a lot of debt. And we need to pay all the barn, okay? <laughs> to be fair, John could earn some little money, you know. Just if he had a little bit of bad morals. But we're on the straight and narrow, guys. Here we are. Look at these dead bodies still here. Looks like. All right, come on. Right, you're going back in the cell once more. Come on. You had your Get fun. We got him, sure. we got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon <laughs> for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to sand and knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> so you gonna get away again. Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. See you around, partner. So I was planning on going to go see some of the older gang members in this episode, but I don't think we have the time, <laughs> unfortunately, guys. Oh, the barn's up! Looks lovely. Lovely stuff, guys. A quick favour for an old friend. We paid some debt, $150, not bad. Don't chew your reins off, missy. Yeah, don't chew your reins off. I didn't know horses could do that. Okay, guys, we're going to be ending that episode there, but if you enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button if you haven't already hit subscribe and the notification bell is free and it really helps the channel out and i will see you guys in the next episode of red dead redemption 2 bye Just run away with my